Hello, I'm Victoria Stilwell, dog behavior expert from It's Me or the Dog and founder of the Victoria Stilwell Academy for Dog Training and Behavior. Today, I'm going to be looking at some of the videos you've sent in of your dogs. First up is a Border Collie with an interesting reaction towards swimmers. Elliot is a typical border collie and I think you're seeing some herding behavior here. I don't necessarily think that he's anxious. I do think though this is a trigger for something that is a natural instinct for him. That herding instinct is really coming out here. You have a fence around the pool which I love which is important for safety. I don't think that this is a bad activity for him. You say though however that he will do it for as long as you're in the pool. And what I would worry about is that he would just exhaust himself or become overheated. Sometimes with Border Collies, the best thing to do is to go find uh, an, a place, and there are places that do herding. And so you find that when you give these dogs a natural outlet for their natural instincts, that actually it affects their behavior in such a positive way that they don't have to do it in other circumstances that maybe you don't want your dog to do it. So it's it's not bad per se, unless he overheats. Um, he is just being a border collie. So I want you to enjoy your swimming. I want to keep him safe too. So hopefully if you, uh, if you take on board the tips that I've just given you, that will really help. Next is a Belgian Malinois who gets very emotional on car journeys. First of all, this behavior in the car is pretty normal. I see a lot of dogs do this and they, it's almost they're, they're really excited and uh, they're very restless and they start pacing back and forth. I do think that, yes, excitement, but I, I think it might be a little much. And I think sometimes dogs get overwhelmed in the car. Oh, oh goodness me. There's a lot of visual stimuli and that sometimes can be too much for dogs. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to play some music in the car. Uh, there is special music that can kind of discharge a dog's nervous system and uh, any kind of music that's soft, uh, like classical music, um, could help this. But I also am a bit concerned that she is roaming around, so I would get her a harness um, because if you have an accident, then that could be catastrophic. And having a harness which keeps her in one place means that she's not going to be pacing, you know, back and forth on that seat. Now I wonder if the visual stimuli is too much for her. And so that might mean, you know, these screens that you can use that mute the outside. You can still see through them, but these are kind of screens that you can use to block the sun. And it just mutes the visual stimuli outside. That with the harness, and the music kind of creates more of a calming environment which the dog can go and just un and relax in. So I think with those tips, you'll see this behavior getting a lot better. Finally, a pair of food thief dogs with plenty of tricks up their sleeves. Clever Louie. Ooh, who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? I love it. I love these uh, problem-solving dogs. You know, I know that this this could potentially be dangerous because we don't want Louie. You say that he can open the oven even when it's hot. That's not good. And we also don't want him opening a cupboard that he ingests something inside that's not going to be good for him. He, he's a hound, isn't he? He looks like beagle size. And they follow their noses and they can be really good at problem-solving and opening cupboards and eating what's, what's in there. So um, here we, we really talk about management here. 
And management means that you don't allow the dog to practice the behavior. Because we're really talking safety here. And so by management, I mean you either have a baby gate that stops him going into the kitchen when you're not there, um, and you also use child locks. Child locks on the cupboard and child locks on the oven so that he can't open the oven. You know, you can train him to keep out of the kitchen whilst you're cooking, but I think that he's doing this when you're not there. And really the only way to stop that is if you don't give him the temptation. The more he rehearses the behavior, the more reinforced it will become. And the more he finds little treats here and there, the more he's gonna try and investigate. But he's also a beagle and I know he's 13, but they still have a lot of energy. Beagles like to lose their, use their nose. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to do some scent games with him. You could do it in your back garden or backyard. You can hide toys there with a little bit of food in there. So he has to go and find and investigate toys there. So you'll find that when you actually allow the dog to do something that, you know, you don't want them to do in one scenario, but you allow them to indulge in what they really love in a controlled way, you find that actually the dog doesn't do the undesirable behavior that you don't want because it's getting all its fulfillment from doing something that it's allowed to do. But lovely to see that and lovely to see that all dogs, they still have it. Eli destroying the evidence. I actually don't think that's what he was doing. He was sort of investigating it and sort of pushed it away with his foot. But you've got a counter surfer here. The counter surfing is a difficult one because uh, it happens a lot when you're not there. And so, you know, what do you do? And this is why I like to do puzzle toys and things kind of in the kitchen on the ground because it teaches the dog that the kitchen's an area where it goes into and nose will go down rather than nose and paws going up. I've had a lot of really good success with just doing that. But management is also your friend here. So I don't necessarily, because the other dog's not crated, uh, and you say you don't want to crate him. I, I'm not a huge fan of crates, I have to say, but I am a huge fan of baby gates. So I think here is that when you're there, teach him that the kitchen, everything good comes from down there. No more temptation at all. He gets nothing when he tries to counter surf. And that when you're not there, he's behind a baby gate, so he can't practice the behavior. Those were amazing videos. We've got loads more to get to. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about your dog's behavior, you can go to my website, positively.com. And if you want to learn more about becoming a dog trainer, go to vsdogtrainingacademy.com.